Hello everyone, my name is Yi Zhu Wang. I am a fourth year PhD student at Northeastern University. Today I'm glad to be here to uh, introduce our ICDM 2023 paper uh, titled Momentum is All You Need for Adaptive Optimization. This is joint work with Yue Kang from UC Davis, Chan Qing, Huan Wang, Yi Xu, and Yun Fu, who is my advisor from Northeastern University and Yu Lun Zhang from ETH. <laughs> the motivation of this paper mainly uh, comes, from to, comes from the desire to solve the issues of Adam. As we all know, Adam is one of the default optimizers in deep learning. Recently, for the very hot large language models, they are usually uh, optimized using Adam or its variant Adam W. So compared to stochastic gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent with momentum, the pros of Adam are mainly two aspects. Firstly, it enables faster training. In other words, it takes shorter time for Adam to achieve the same training loss than SGDM. Secondly, Adam is able to optimize more complex models, especially those with tension modules. And that's why Adam or Adam W is widely used in natural language processing, where transformers are the basic models. But Adam also has some obvious clones, according to our recent, recent researchers' findings. Firstly, it generalizes worse than SGD or SGDM. Uh, here, uh, the generalized words means that uh, if the training loss are the same, then Adam will tend to have higher uh, testing loss than SGDM. So its generalization ability is compromised with faster training. And secondly, the optimization and the generalization ability of Adam is still very limited on some challenging tasks, including image generation or natural language modeling. So to solve the above issues, we propose a novel optimizer, which we name Adam to the three. So here, algorithm one summarizes the procedure of Adam three algorithm proposed by us. So we can compare this to the original formula of Adam. We can see uh, we make mainly two major modifications. The first one is that we replace the GT square in the VT by mt square in Adam. And uh, here, mt is the exponential moving average of grad gradients. The second major modification is that we change the location of epsilon. Specifically, we move the damping term epsilon from outside the square root function in line 9 to inside the square root. So the motivation of the first major modification actually is listed here. So we can look at the history of some classic optimizers and including SGD, RProp, IMSProp, and Adam. They can all written in the following formula, which is theta t plus one equals theta t minus alpha multiply mt over square root of vt. And mt vt can take different values of, uh, corresponding to different classic optimizers. And uh, the reason Adam is proposed is that for m for the choose for the chosen values of m t, they propose to choose the exponential moving average of gradient instead of the gradient at time t, and they find that can improve the efficiency of the optimizer. This actually implies that the exponential moving average of the gradient is a more accurate estimation of the correct direction to do perform uh, gradient descent. So we argue that we should also do it in the same way when we choose the value of vt. So we propose to replace the gt square, g, or g, the gi square in the v, vt in Adam formulation into mi square, because mt is a more favorable choice for gradient representation than GT. So this choice of 
the value of vt actually is backed up by some uh, intuitive explanations. So we can we conclude that uh, by such uh, modification, Adam two three is most suitable for typical loss curvature. So consider a general loss curvature in the uh, picture. So there are three places, A, B, and C. In area A, the gradient is large. The absolute value of gradient is large, but the absolute value of M is still small, considering that it's just beginning to uh, steep down. And in area B, the absolute value of M gradually becomes as large as the absolute value of G. And when it approaches uh, place three, a place C where uh, it's near the global minimum, the absolute value of gradient is small, but the absolute value of M is still large since it considers the history trajectory of the gradients. So consider these three places in the in a general loss curvature. In area A, the the true linear rate of Adam is small because G is large here. But the true linear rate of Adam to three is still large because we use M. In area C, the learning rate of Adam is large, while the learning rate of Adam to 3 is small. So actually, in area A, we require the optimizer to move fast, i.e. we require the learning rate to be large to speed the training. But in area 3, we actually uh, want the learning rate of the optim desired optimizer to be small. Uh, as illustrated in the picture on the right-hand side, uh, near the uh, global optimizer, there is always some ups and downs so a small learning rate can guarantee uh, no isolations or fewer isolations and uh, stability so a small learning rate near optima is uh, desired so adam to three uh, satisfy these requirements <laughs> next we uh, look into the explanation of the benefits of changing the location of epsilon so we can write the formulation of vt hat uh, with different location of epsilon like moving it inside and outside of the square root symbol and by some simple algebra we can get that when epsilon is out under the square root symbol i.e uh, our modification the effective learning rate is this formula so it's basically the square root of one minus uh, beta two multiply alpha over the square root of epsilon while the original formulation of adam's uh, uh, effective learning rate is alpha over epsilon so since epsilon is usually a very small number like uh, in the magnitude of 10 to the minus 16 or, or minus 16 or minus 12 or minus 8 and uh, beta two is a uh, uh, is a very large number close to the one. So we can conclude that the effective learning rate of Adam to the three is much smaller than the effective learning rate of Adam, which is beneficial to the stability of training. So uh, we did experiments in uh, image classification uh, on CV on on CIFAR one CIFAR ten data set and image net data set, and uh, we can see that our proposed Adam two three is comparable to SGDM, and uh, far much better than far better than all the adaptive gradient methods now, and we also illustrate the basing of the loss the the structure the shape of the loss curve channel of Adam and Adam two three. Can see that after our modification, our uh, loss curvature is more flat, and uh, uh, means that it converges to flatter minimum, leading to better generation. We also did experiments on LSTM for language modeling. Our item two three gets state of the other results with the baselines, and we also did experiments in uh, transformer for neural machine translation and. Uh, GANs on CIFAR 10 dataset generation and our Adam 2 3 perform consistently the best, which demonstrates that our method proposed optimizer is universally good. 
Thank you for listening.